Hi, welcome to this lab. In this lab, I'm going to show you how to move processor data into SQL Data Warehouse from Data Lake Store. In the earlier lab, we have written Spark Notebook, which basically access the data in Data Lake Store and transform it and show it. But we haven't written the code in order to save the transformed data back into Data Lake Store. So in this lab, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend that Spark Notebook code in order to store the transformer data back into Data Lake Store. And I will create a SQL Data Warehouse, create a destination table, and finally I'll go to Data Factory, create appropriate linked services to SQL Data Warehouse, and change the pipeline in order to move the data from Data Lake Store into SQL Data Warehouse. Okay, if you don't understand it, follow what I'm doing carefully. By the end of this lab, you'll gain full understanding. So first of all, let me go into Databricks. I want to show you the piece of code that I have extended. So this is the code that we have written. We have written till here, basically. What we have done here is we provided service principal credentials and we provided tenant and we are basically accessing customer address.txt file, get the data and show that data. And we created another data frame which will fetch only four columns of the table and show that information. But now we need to save this change of data frame back into Data Lake Store, isn't it? For that purpose, I have written this code. You might see a different way of connecting to Data Lake Store in this piece of code from here onwards. The reason is there are two ways you can connect to Data Lake Store. And I just want to show both of the ways. Basically, you can directly connect to Data Lake Store like this or you can mount the Data Lake Store file system on Databricks file system. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking all the configuration values, basically service principal, client ID, client secret, and all those stuff. And then I'm mounting this path on Databricks file system as this path. So from that point onwards, I don't need to use this. I just need to use this only, okay? And now here, what I'm doing, I'm writing the data within the data frame into transform.csv. However, there is one problem. When you do this in Spark, by default, Spark will create a folder with that name. So it won't create a file, but it will create a folder with this name and create a partition table. So we don't want that folder really because we want to programmatically access the output file, isn't it, from data factory. So for that purpose, what I'm doing is I'm copying the data from this file into transformer.txt and deleting the folder, which is transformer.csv. In case if you want to understand more, what you can do is run this notebook, but don't do this. Basically exclude this code and run this. Then you can see a folder got created with transformer.csv. Then you will understand what I mean basically. And then paste this code and run it. And then you can see only transformer.txt and this folder gets deleted. Okay, I hope you got the understanding of this. And the next thing we need to do is to create SQL Data Warehouse. By the way, I'm not going to run this code because I'm going to run this from Data Factory. Okay, so let me go into resource groups. Sorry, I'm not going to create a resource group. I'm going to create a resource which is SQL Data warehouse okay subscription is azure trainings resource group i'm going to select analytics temp rg blank database because we are going to create a table anyway server i have already a server rudra sql server let's select it and then we don't need this many data warehouse units. So I'm going to select the bare minimum and click on apply and click on create. And this is going to take some time. So I'm going to pause this video until this data warehouse is successfully created. Now our SQL data warehouse has been successfully created. In order to view the resource, go to resource. And let's copy the server name because now we are going to create a table within the SQL Data Warehouse. So we need to connect to it using 
management studio here I'm going to paste it and I'm going to select SQL Server Authentication and then login and then connect okay now we are able to successfully connect let's expand it SQL data warehouse tables we don't have any so I'm going to create a new table cancel I already have a small script to create the table so let me copy it very straightforward script basically so basically it is creating a table with four columns that's what the transformer data will contain in order to move the data into SQL data warehouse we need to create this table explicitly however if you are migrating the data from SQL database into SQL data warehouse you don't need to create it because data factory on the fly will create a table for you but because now we are copying the data from data lake store into SQL data warehouse we need to create this table explicitly okay but in future Microsoft might change this and enable automatic table creation I don't know but at the moment it's not supported we need to create a table explicitly so let's execute so that's it table got created successfully let's refresh it see here the table got created now let's go into data factory click on here and then we have two data sets earlier and we have a pipeline earlier but now I'm going to create connections create a linked service again to data lake storage but earlier this data lake storage one used to refer to the source file i.e. basically when we migrated the data from Azure SQL Depot into data lake store we create a text file right so this data lake storage one referred to that text file however our spark code will transform the text file and generate transformer.txt now we need to create a linked service for transformer.txt okay click on it continue and uh, Azure training storage account is Rudra data lake storage and I'm going to call this as transformed okay test the connection and let's finish it okay dismiss and now next thing is to create a linked service to data warehouse as your training server name is rudra sql server warehouse is rudra sql data warehouse and sql authentication and then test the connection and then finish it okay dismiss now in the data sets we created the linked services now we need to create data sets for the appropriate linked service finish and then go to connection this time we are going to use data lake stories transformed and the directory is images and the file path is transformed.txt just to make sure the file is getting created let me copy this that's better isn't it okay we don't have that file so we can't browse and in terms of schema we can't import it because it's not yet fetched okay and also we need to tell here column names or in the first header sorry first row and that's it we don't need to do anything else now I'm going to create another data set for warehouse connection and table is customer addresses 
schema we don't need to preview um, or if you want to do a preview there is nothing else sorry there is no data actually okay now publish all of them sorry let me give meaningful name to this also this is transformed and this one also okay now publish it now go into pipeline now we are going to drop another data activity this data activity we need to configure sorry I zoomed in a bit just to make sure it is visible to you properly and now I'm getting all kinds of problems but anyway so now for the copy activity we need to select a source which is data lake storage transformed and sync which is a SQL data warehouse okay and I'm not going to use polybase because it is not supported for data lake store yet okay so that's it so let's publish this that's it publish is completed so let me give you a recap firstly we have a copy data activity which will copy the data from SQL database into data lake store secondly we have a notebook activity which will trigger a notebook basically so this is the data breaks and go to settings you will specify the notebook path that notebook will be triggered by this activity what this notebook is doing it's basically transforming the data i.e in other words a simple processing basically exclude one of the columns in the source table within data factory and created a destination table in a text file which is transformer.txt now this copy activity what it is doing it's basically copying the transformer.txt and putting into sql data warehouse okay so i hope you got good understanding now now let's validate all and then finally run hopefully it should work in the first run if not we will identify the problem and we will fix it in order to monitor the pipeline you can click on here and then see what is happening okay and also you can go to storage explorer and see what is happening here see already customer address.txt is created which is basically mean our first copy activity is completed now the spark notebook basically is triggered and it is running let's go back and refresh here no it's still running The cluster is running so hopefully it should be quick let's see anyway see transformer.csv got created that folder now the next piece of code will delete the folder but copy the text file within the transformer.csv into transformer.txt so let's refresh see transform.txt it got created now that means the notebook activity is successfully completed now we are coming into copy activity to copy the data in the data lake store into sql data warehouse so let's see what happens if you need to monitor you can go to management studio refresh this and run a select query still not yet came so that means that activity is still running it might take some time in order to connect to data warehouse and populate the data so let's wait for it it is taking some time so I'm going to pause this video until this pipeline run is successfully completed now our pipeline run has been failed in order to view the issue 
click on it and the last activity that means transferring the data from data lake store into warehouse got failed so if you click on it here basically what it is saying is column address id in the data set cannot be found in physical database because we haven't provided any mapping it got confused i think so let's go to data pipeline sorry not data pipeline go to maybe data lake storage transformed sorry so let's go to connections now here we never imported the schema because transformer.txt now got created we can import the schema from there okay and publish this basically earlier we haven't provided any mapping so that's the reason this particular copy activity got confused because it hasn't able to map appropriately okay now what i'm going to do is click on the copy activity mapping import schemas now here we provided a mapping okay basically it is automatically done but because we haven't done this and when the copy activity tried to map the columns it got confused basically it hasn't able to match these two things ideally it should i don't know why but uh, let's publish these changes now and also one more thing we need to do is to delete these two files because they will be created again and then transform.txt also delete it okay now i'm going to run the pipeline again i think this time it should be successful can't see any other reason now okay let's finish this and it's running and i'm going to pass this video once again until this pipeline run is successfully completed welcome back now our pipeline run has been successfully completed and you can see all the activities here so first copy activity is copying the data from sql database into data lake storage and the second activity is running a notebook which will transform the data and copy the data back into data lake storage the final activity is from data lake storage to sql data warehouse okay i hope you find this lab useful